As a kid growing up in Martinsville, Virginia, Odell Hodge always dreamed of one day stepping in the ring as a professional wrestler. We want too many to do there, too much to do other than play basketball. And when they had uh, events like wrestling come to the arenas uh, there in Martinsville, that's all we can do as little kids. And that's what I did. And uh, I just love the sport. I always have and I mean, I always will. It's a tough life between the ropes, and no one knows that better than nature boy Ric Flair. The WCW World Heavyweight Champion has dominated the wrestling scene for the last 22 years. You know, it takes a good attitude. Uh, people think that we go out there and it's a game and that, but it takes a lot of physical skill to be good. It takes a real good mental attitude because guys get hurt and uh, they have to come back and they have to go out the next night and do it again. They get hurt again, they've got to go the next night. We don't have workman's comp, we don't have disability. We make a lot of money if we get to the top. But there's, uh, our benefits are provided by, by our own, uh, own efforts. Odell got his first taste of verbal competition when he went backstage and went one-on-one -on -one with the Giant, a monster that stands seven foot four and weighs 444 pounds. Just because you've got the physical tools doesn't mean that you've harnessed the mental tools yet. Let me tell you something. You don't know me. My name is the big fella. I got one of the devil's days moving in business, buddy. I might go down to WCW and pay my dues one day, but one day, me and you will get in that ring to Dell. And when we do, buddy, it'll be one hell of a fight. I'll tell you something, brother. You step in the ring with me, you better bring a long lunch, okay? Because when I'm done spreading your innards all over that ring, I'm going to want something to eat. That's it right here. As you can see, there was no backing down for the Big O. And who knows, maybe one day, instead of flying down the court on a fast break, the Big O will fly from the top rope with an elbow drop. In Norfolk, Chris Reckling for TV10 Sports.